the side control. The, uh, the smoke rather goes to the spawn, and Rust is able to take the opening. Down goes Chronicle through the smoke, and Shados, he isn't long for this world either. A very swift start for BBL, and a 2v5 on the retake for Gambit. Yeah, it's almost like Gambit wasn't even ready for this aggression, but they should probably expect it at this point. We've seen it time and time again where BBL are just W keying, taking these duels, feeling confident on a good day. They're really, really difficult to win against these duels. I don't recall that skin working that way. Maybe that's is that what it looks like upgraded? That's beautiful from Defo. Like the, the flick back, <laughs> it's honestly thrown me off. But he's thrown off as well by a shot from Lego oh. and a good it really flanks out on B, but the killjoy is holding it. The utility is there to stop anything from going down. And as Nats falls, I'm looking to mid for that fight. There's two oh. players kind of dancing around a smoke that we can see on the radar as aim eventually wants to, to back off and create more space. The turret spots Chronicle coming through. Oh, Defo! Hello! This round is all of a sudden turned on its head. A good shock dart deals damage, but a 4v2. BBL are under threat. They've got the spike planted, but there's plenty of time for this retake to be mounted. Oh, he needs to be careful here. He scanned through the wall. You don't want to be near a cardboard wall when you're scanned. 26 HP left. He's just pre-fire in the corner. He gets one, though, but gets taken out. Shit again. The interesting thing here, BBL, the... Uh, decent investment when you compare it to Gambit, right? They have two rifles to play with. A dangerous fight at the start as Rust, Aslan, Lego, they're all gone and BBL. From Gambit, they allow a lot of space, luckily punishing it afterwards. And I will say with the two weapons that Gambit managed to recover Jonas, because they took uh, an extra two off their opponents in the previous round, they've got lots and lots of cash. But one less player now, another to fall, and this is looking good for BBL. It does indeed, and Aslan gets one as well. These sh Sheriff guys, they don't mess around. Redgar, though, it's ready on the refrag. Gets two, gets three. Now it comes down to the side push. They've smoked off spawn. The op out of this round for now, as Russ is taken down. Chronicle wants more. He gets two, he Ooh. gets three, and now still going out for a fourth. What is this guy doing? Robbed of the end. Market control and time to push. A smoke used to cover it off, and a Hunter's Fury popped on the other side to try and deal with Shados. He dodges it, luckily gets his heal off, oh, he but gets no, him. he's done for. Time is so low, and Nats on sight. Ooh. That's the double they needed. The round may just be theirs, and with Chronicle delaying them further, there's no time to get that plant down. Aim is now just left alone in a 1v3, desperately trying to get the kills, but the clock is his biggest enemy. Sick. And you're going to see Devil slowly back off, but then the angle, Ooh. it's easy. Takes the shot, dashes out, three kills. The Sheriff's not really getting anything done. They've got to start delivering now, and Russ, he's opening it up. There's the opening duel. Is this what spurs them on and gets them to control? Maybe not. It's rotating back on A here. That's that's pretty scary. Yeah, the, the information sometimes, it, it, it's your worst enemy. Thinking that it's clear now, they're going to realize it's not the smoke coming out, but it, they peak before it even blooms. Lego taken down, and oh what my God. doing? Going in for more with the updraft. Almost the main players absolutely everywhere. The shots they land, but Nats is there again. Quite well into this as Jet has already rotated as well. Four people waiting for this push. This is going to be a clash of the centuries. As the smoke comes out here, Russ is left on site. Kero gets one as well. Kero gets two, actually. This might actually be a round for BBL or Lego gets the door down. Shadows cancels the plant, though. 15 seconds left. <gasps> You My goodness. They have to make a move. They've got to get that planted. It's now or never. It's going down and planted. Okay. The advantage swings to BBL massively now. Another kill their way. And even though they ran into a four-man stack... <laughs> 18 oh, bullets yeah. left. <laughs> a couple of rounds. So Gambit's reads and gambles are just perfect. Yeah, I mean, I think that they kind of identify. Oh, you have to be careful, Defo. <laughs> oh, that feels bad, man. Oh my god, Nats on the off angle. Oh, they didn't check the corner. Holding the off angle once again. Lego needs to check this. Oh, but he turns around. They're going to be popped through. Everybody's blind. The swing doesn't oh, have anything. No. And now lockdown is the dangerous thing to deal with. They've cleared out short, but Defo is still here on the side. In fact, goes down to the generator, has Nats here to play with him. And as the glass gets broken, Shados is covering the back. This is perfect. And Shados oh, my God. them all up. The head peak to close. The push is coming out, but they've quickly 
quickly made their way back over. Three players on the corner. Oh, not able to get the kill. Chronicle has been on a tear so far, and Lego spotted out for nothing. The time is low, and the push is coming in. The plant, well, it's going to be left. found. The only question was, could Rust do something huge? And no, now the retake going to be mounted. And look Five who's planted. tucked in on the left corner. It's Chronicle again and again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Caro, though. Looked like he uh, picked a few pages out of uh, <laughs> Chronicles <laughs> book there with the jumping classic. Didn't quite have the same. Taking the chance of winning out of their hands, but 12 to 3 we go. BBL, they've cut around. But uh, so far, I will say they're not the most convincing for this now nine consecutive round comeback that they have to make happen. And it looked, this, this round looks very similar to what we saw when uh, Gambit were defending as well, where there were so many rotations back and forth, so that they basically had... Oh, look at this. The, oh, this is a fast play! Oh, oh my god, Defo! He's up drafted onto site with a Vandal! You do that with your ult, not with a damn Vandal! That's disrespectful, BBL! Three versus five, what a way to lose the site! And now, possibly lose the map! As the comeback has to be mounted. I I don't believe what I've just seen. Yampi is going to be taking notes of that. <laughs> Yampi will for sure. I will remind him. <laughs> Chronicle that once again holding the logs here. Gets one of the off angle. Gets two. Go back here and go for A. And Cypher has been guarding the flank this whole time. Left. See, and it takes out Russ as well. So now, uh, suddenly this is like turned upside down. They're going for A. Yeah, I like that. The, the diversity, the ability to quickly switch it up caused by that flank and map control that they had. Aslan, he's getting in there with the first, but now caught in the open. He'll be taken down. Lego wants to walk oh, on no. into the orb. Left. And spot Oh no! Her good night and sweet dreams. Lego gets out of there. Five seconds left. Now they're covering the plant aggressively, making sure it comes into play. Man advantage is there. Damage is done to AIM. Lego's got to be the big player. His heel's out of the round now. 30 seconds left. And AIM falls. One shot. It's good enough to take Chronicle down, but he'll need another double. And as he goes up the rope, Shados is holding it from just below the wall. A sneaky little angle. A little bit of damage. Oh, aim. He's got the angle. <laughs> Backing off. Another to come around, and he's not ready. He was hoping for the wide swing, and there it is eventually. Given to him on a golden platter. It's a 2v5. Not saying anything before this round is over, but most likely he's going to get taken out. By oh. the it really could have. That was so close. Russ tries to spray some more, but the Viper Wall is not helping him here. Redgar probably gonna play for a... Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, this is why flank protection can be so good here. Gambit, they have two uh, two Cypher trips behind them. Yeah. They should be completely fine, and Nats gets Rust there. He's still playing on site, dancing around inside his cage, finding these cheeky little angles. Aim, though, trying to find him, but it doesn't really help. Oh, man. Those post plants again for Gambit, but the flank is coming in. There's two players who are coming right up behind them. The camera not yet spotted them, and well, they might just be in trouble here. Aslan gets spotted out. Oh. One kill for his trouble, but they don't know about the second. It's aim up behind. Good for one, and maybe a second if <laughs> Defo wasn't so quick. The spike is ticking away, but still plenty of time. Never mind. BBL, they lose that one quickly. Pushed all the way through tube. And look, we talk about flank protection. You would love to have oh, some right now, my. wouldn't you? Lego caught off guard and destroyed. And especially when the Viper orb is down in mid, you have to be so conscious of that push. A big gap in the defense and one they get punished for is Kiro. Oh, he knows he's baiting him into a fight, but Redgar's too strong. Taking that kill in the battle of the operators goes to Defo. Damn, it just can't be stopped like uh, the previous map now. Buy round after buy round. <laughs> you really can't, man. They got all the post plant utility. They've got an op. There's going to be snake bites raining in in a second as well. You're not getting this defused unless you get a lot of kills very, very quickly. Russ starts it out well with the first aim under threat, but the time's already gone. There's no way they get it done. And even though they if that spike is dropped, they are dead. The dash even used to get on site quickly. And there it is. Just enough time. The plant comes in and Gambit now retreat for post plants. A 3v3. This has turned into BBL's favor very quickly. Oh, but Defo is holding this operator angle up close. Super fearless. Trying to maybe block off something here. DLL still has his smoke, but Shadows decides to take the duel. So Carol is left alone, but Chronicle 
from the back. And two there, they're gonna boost up with the Sage Ball. Is Kara gonna know this? He tries to get something done, but gets refried quickly. Oh, this is scary. Oh, oh, Aslan's got the kill. No res now possible, but Shado's taken one. Kiro gets revived. Man advantage for BBL. It's never easy to push into these. Aim peaks the backside. Timing is again sublime. Machado's getting one. The res comes in and they'll push forward. Okay, they can get that wall up as well. It's going to give them a lot of cover to get the spike planted. 30 seconds on the clock. Only one man advantage. This is definitely winnable. Ulti comes in and Shado's around the side is good for damage as well on a second and ace already oh my and God. it could be the 6k the flank of russ the last opportunity for bbl around that they must win it should already be theirs he gets in that viper ultimate's dropping russ is running away there's six seconds left the plant has to come in now and russ knows it and they don't they don't even fake it russ has won the round by himself and ace from shados play that really well because he either let oh wow well, hold on we'll, we'll talk about that in a little bit because russ He's wanting to continue on this streak, and his teammates are there to trade. Standard refrag type of play. Oh, you better be careful. Okay. We got to talk about the confidence of swinging there with 10 HP. Hmm. I mean, we already know Gambit are certainly a, a confident team at the moment. Coming into this round, a minute oh. 30, Aslan's walled off. He's in the oh. corner and good for one, but where does he go from here? Runs around through the Viper wall and gets taken down. Russ, good to trade and spotted the spike in the open. The shock dart in for damage. And Russ wants a little bit more. Oh, this is beautiful. Like they're going to run right into each other. Devil <gasps> has to hit the headshot. He's clearing the wrong angle. Oh. And the oh, they're, they're getting better for BBL. They've got to keep going. Oh. They lose out this pistol. The chances of them winning go down massively. We know that they're not too good in anti-ecos anyways. Defo, first one to deal damage, falls back for more. and keep, Well, no, he keeps on going. He's just running around the corner. Okay. Yeah, the, the confidence is there. They're feeling this one in BBL. They don't get a moment to breathe. Leaving Lego by himself. He's going to even commit the wall to this one. Paper wall. So far. But the plant comes down. Or does it? <laughs> Shade on jumps the top of the boss. Caro gets two. But the plant finally goes down though. That's good. It's a good oh, with a, with a specter. My god, Nat, stop it. Leave them alone. If you're feeling bad now in the 1v2, you must be feeling even worse. Nats has got closer, but Kiro. Point, Gambit, no pressure on that. They're not filming it at all. I like that angle from Nats. I love it so much. Oh. But he's only good for the first. Aslan up close took his crosshair away from the herd. And so BBL can close in on the side. Spam from Chronic. Here he comes. Shock dart. Oh, Maybe okay. It doesn't actually land fully over on the side. And there's a Viper oh, canceled no. out before it can even bloom. The classic not good for the kill. Behind up oh. in hand. And now he's got the timing. He's on his way through. Not ready for someone on the left. And the quick scope oh. doesn't hit. Shados now on the back foot. The dash out from Russ on 7 HP. But he's got the information. He's going to go for the defuse. But he can be peaked from above. They can updraft onto him. There's so much that can happen. And well, Shados, he's in trouble. But maybe not. I thought Russ no. had it. The time is just too tight. See? <laughs> Oh, 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 Defo, that's oh, so no. nasty. Here's the drone above, takes the timing, and Gambit, they're out with four kills. We barely had time to take a breath at the start of this round, and BBL, oh, they've got to be feeling devastated. A three. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Doesn't find anything, but it, oh, <laughs> tried to dodge with the jump, but gets taken out anyway. Oh, here we go, though. Nats returning another. As a man advantage now swings double into Gambit. Here come the shock darts, but that's a very, very shallow plant. But they're going to catch them out anyways. Redgar, good for the side swipe. To, they've got to nearly double the rounds. Five consecutive up against Gambit, who are just on fire right now. Russ loses two of his knives, but the opening kill is theirs. Shados on the fall back even gets tagged up a little bit more. A couple tickles for him. And this is it. Okay, BBL, they've got the advantage, but now they've got to deal with two players. Already one down. Okay, they're certainly looking a lot stronger. Oh, no! But what? 16 HP. And Nats is the one that's going to finish him off. Taking him from above as they look for the site. They know that Russ was around the plant a moment ago. But hold on. It's actually planted inside. He's swinging in and dying to no. it. That's it. Gambit 13 to 7. They have no. From Gambit on the attack. Yeah. Yeah, we saw those lineups and it felt like every time.